Hey guys, Tech Mentor here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your Apple Watch 6 if you get a blank screen or it's unresponsive or not working. Now, we'll show you a quick way to try to fix it yourself, but if you can't fix it, there might be a chance for you to get Apple to fix it for free or even replace it for you. And we're going to tell you that in the later part of the video. So if you're getting a blank screen, the very first thing you want to try to do is a force restart. So in order to do a force restart on your Apple Watch, all you're going to do is hold the crown and the side button together for about 10 seconds. And then what will happen is it will go, screen will go black and you should see the Apple logo reappear. So I'm going to press it at the same time, the side button here and the crown. So you press and hold just like that, the way I'm holding here for your Apple Watch. So you just keep on holding till you see the Apple logo reappear. And once it reappears, it's done a forced restart. So if there's a software related issue impacting your Apple Watch for being blank or doesn't respond or doesn't show, it will reboot for you and hopefully resolve the issue. Now, let's say you have an issue where uh, it doesn't turn on or the blank screen is still there. There's actually a recall that Apple has released part of their service program that allows you to get your Apple Watch 6 series replaced or even repaired if your Apple Watch is affected device. So in order to check that, what you'll do is go to you, your internet browser, right? And search up Apple service program. So Apple service program. So if you search that up, the very first one under Apple support will come up with the service program available. And Apple released this back in April 22 of 2022. So what happened is the blank screen issue, it was a known issue Apple has discovered and determined there is a small percentage of Apple Watches that got affected where it would go blank permanently between for the devices that were manufactured between April 2021 to September 2021. Now, in order to check if you're eligible to be able to get this uh, service program, which Apple would either repair it for you or replace for you, you need to enter the serial number of your Apple Watch right over here and submit it, which is really easy to do. So you may be wondering, how do I get the serial number? Well, a couple ways to get the serial number. Now let's say it's blank, you won't be able to see it. What you need to do is look at the serial number, which is gonna be printed on the actual inside the band. So you see this little clip here, you press and hold, so it's a button here, you press it down and these, bands will slide off so press it press that button with your finger or thumb like this and then you slide it off and then here at the bottom you should see there's a serial number listed right here under here i don't know if you can see right here but it's listed right under there where it says assemble in china and then there's a bunch of characters and numbers listed together which will be something you'll grab here and then you will input it right in there. So once you can put it there and submit it and it will tell you whether you're a legible device or not. And if it is, it will tell you to pretty much find authorized Apple provider or make an appointment or contact them and they can either mail it in or uh, tell you to go to the nearest store and they'll be able to fix it. The only caveat to this is that it has to be uh, within two years after the retail sale. So that's kind of the one thing aspect of it. But again, it's a quick way to check and possibly have Apple fix it or re replace it for you. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.